Folks out here aren't used to a lot of criminal activity, so when someone started stalking this neighborhood, it alarmed a lot of people. That's creepy. And that is coming from a 26 year veteran of the Overland Park Police Department who has seen some crazy stuff in his career. Yeah, see, if it was my backyard, you know, I would be out there real quick. Well, you're a police officer. Yeah, too. yeah. I mean, the first thing I thought was really creepy. Why would someone walk around in a hazmat suit? Someone wearing a hazmat suit with his face covered, a miner's light on his head, wearing a backpack and gloves, walking up to homes and around backyards in Southern Overland Park. <laughs> One woman who did not want to be identified says she heard her doorbell camera alarm go off Monday around midnight. I didn't really think anything of it. And then the next morning when I um, got up and checked Facebook, um, I had all kinds of neighbors posting videos. And I thought, well, that's kind of odd. When she checked her video, it was the same um, strange creepy person that was um, had started to come to the front porch. Well, when we woke up Tuesday morning, we came out here, and we noticed that the door was open all the way, and the latch, it was just like that. What did you think when you woke up on Tuesday and that was like that? We really didn't understand it because I hadn't seen anything on Facebook yet. When she heard about what happened and when, it dawned on her. The guy may have also tried to get in another way. Monday night, when all of this went on, supposedly, my husband got up. He heard something tapping, and he went downstairs. To find a shattered basement window. Last night, we went and bought a doorbell camera and cameras for the back. And the front. So, what should people in this neighborhood do? Because I'll tell you, they are freaked out. Number one, call us. Don't send it to our social media page. It's not monitored 24 7. Give us a call. Call 911 if you have to. Much like this window, the nerves of the people who live around here are shattered and will stay that way until this guy is caught.